I have been playing with my mini dress form. I used some scrap fabric and I draped this little bitty cute top and it has a little tie in the front. I think it's so adorable. The size of it all is just so cute. And for the back, I just draped half of the design, but it will be a full back once it's all sewn together and then opened up. And then I use this design as inspiration and a guide to actually drape on my full size form and make this top. So I think it looks pretty much just like this one and I'm really happy with the results. So this is what I did to create the top. So there is a center front seam here. There is a shoulder seam and then you have a side seam. So I took some scrap fabric and I drew in a line along the center front and I'm going to line this line up with the center front of the dress form. And actually I want to raise it up a little bit so that I'll have enough to cut out a neckline. And then I'm going to pin it down. And I will pin around the shoulder area and also around the side. So I draped the front of the top first because I knew I wanted a tie in the front. So I took a ruler and I measured from the corner over to the side seam and then I drew a line. And this is a rough demonstration of what I did. But I drew a line and then I cut that line out And this point is going to be part of the tie. Oop, that's a little high. Mine was lower, but this will just give you an idea of what I did. And then I drew in the neckline. So you can have it go down into a V or you can curve it. And then you draw in your shoulder line and you kind of want to look and see where it is and then you draw in your armhole and you draw in around your armhole until you get to the side seam and look and see where it is it's about right here and then go down okay so now my front is draped and then I'm going to trim around it. I don't want to trim on the line that I made because I need to leave some space for seam allowance. So I'm just going to trim around the line that I made or the lines. There's more than one. So I'm going to trim around here and I don't have to trim the center front because I already left some space there. So that is okay. Let me trim this off. Okay, so I had the front draped and then I needed to do the back. So kind of the same idea. You take your center back line and line it up with the center back seam line on your dress form and pin it down. And you kind of just do the same thing. Pin your shoulders down. I'm going to move this forward so I can see the line and pin to it. And same thing on the side. I'm going to move this over so I can see what I'm doing. Pin this out of the way. And 
and then I want to make sure when I'm pinning this back I want to make sure that it stops where the front stops so I may want to make a line there but let me pin it first make sure everything is out of the way Uh, it's kind of got some slack so I could trim this or I'm just gonna pull it over make sure it's nice and straight or like I said I could just trim this a little bit to get it to release and now I'm going to trim the shoulder seam kind of peek under there and see where it is I'm not trim it trace Trace the line or make a line and then this should be straight and then curve I want my neckline down a little bit and then curve it you can have your neckline however you want it you can make it as low as you want it and just make sure it comes up to the shoulder and then go around your armhole kind of see where your armhole is go around this is not perfect, but this is just to give you an idea of what I did. Going to draw this over to the side seam and then draw down. And I want to stop close to where the front stops. Let me show you. Oops. Close to where the front stops right there. So I'll draw a line right there. Okay. And then I will go ahead and let me hold this down and I'm going to draw a line in the back so I'll know pretty much where to cut around here just roughly okay it's okay if it's a little long because you're going to true it up in the end once you take it off so now I'm just going to go ahead and trim away the excess I feel like my scissors need to be sharpened okay so let me go around here and cut around this edge it's not really a lot up here to cut but I'll cut around there and cut a little bit below this line and once this is pinned let's see pin this together like this just so I can kind of get an idea of if it is even pin that and that's even enough and then same up here just want to make sure it's pretty even you like i said you'll true it up in the end but pin that around there and then now you have your front bodice and you'll cut out two pieces and then you'll be able to tie the front and then this is the back so next you will take it off of the dress form so after i took the pieces off i made sure the armhole edges were nice and rounded on both sides and then i made sure the lines were straight up here at the top and along the side also you can true up the seams just to make sure that they match you can also true up the shoulder seams to make sure that they match so you can pin that together make sure this opening matches and the shoulder and the back seam like I can actually fix this and make that a little straighter but this is how you would true up the pattern if you decide you want to make a paper pattern you can take a tool like this it has the little sharp edges on it 
you can take the fabric that you draped and place it down on some tracing paper and secure it and you can secure it with tape or pins or weights and then you want to press down on the markings that you made while the fabric was on the dress form and you're going to go around all the marks that you made and as you are pressing into the fabric it will be leaving little holes in your tracing paper and then when you remove your fabric you can trace around all of the holes that you made and that will be a way to make your pattern so you will line up all of the marks that you made with the ruler just to make sure everything is nice and straight all the curved edges around the armhole and the neckline you can use a curved ruler just to make sure the curves are nice and curvy this is just hand drawn so it's really rough but you can neaten this out make it nice then you want to add your seam allowance to the pattern and then you cut everything out you do the same thing for all of your pattern pieces or all your fabric pieces and then you can make a muslin and try the garment on or you can put it back on the dress form and make any adjustments before you go ahead and cut everything out in your fashion fabric. Here is the finished top after it was draped on the full size dress form. Here it is in the back and once it's untied you can see how the ties turned out with that angle cut. So that's that and then tie it up and the top is all done and ready to wear.